Yeah, hello. Something completely different today. I want to like to look into can you use Bitwig as a synthesizer workstation? What does it mean? First, let's talk about what is a workstation. So workstations came up in the 90s or late 80s and the, the most famous one, I guess, is still the Cork M1. And the new thing about this workstation idea was that you have one synthesizer or device where you can create a complete song. So for that, back then you had a sequencer which basically meant a MIDI sequencer and you could have multiple tracks which means you could play in parallel multiple sounds mostly 8, 16 or on the most powerful ones even 32 and these devices uh, still exist nowadays uh, you have here for example the big ones the Cochronos, Roland Phantom, Yamaha Montage and they nowadays can do much more things you can have full audio tracks, sampler, clips and scenes and yeah this might sound very familiar to uh, something like a door or like Bitwig and I will not look into creating songs with them because mostly live keyboarders use these devices to play live because you have these powerful things like these sounds you could layer split and so on this is what normally live keyboarders need and do they want to layer sounds split sounds switch sounds and also if they play with multiple synths they want to also control the other synths from one main device. So how can you do that in Bitwig? First let's look a little bit what the needs are. So layer sounds here, the, the classical example is you want to have a piano and some strings in the background. So whichever key you press both sounds should sound at once or also you can also layer to, to pads or to synth sounds to make them fatter or bigger or give them more variety. Sometimes also you might want to switch that with velocity. If you play soft it will only hear the piano and if you play powerful you add some strings or some hits or whatever to it so it gets louder and bigger as well. Splitting sound also classic example for example in, a, in the left hand you want to play a bass sound and then the right you have a pad or a piano or whatever. You can also have multiple splits so you can have three or four sounds at once at your hands and playable. And also you can for sure you can combine these things so here you have a bass and a pad and here you have the layered sound so this is also also a possibility and here if you look at that now you see first problem which you need also to fix that this might play too low so you want to transpose that as well so that's also a feature we need yeah also I said we might need to address external synths as well so one of these layers here as I call them might come from external synth so a different device so also we need a solution for that and finally switching sounds is you want to play either strings or piano or even switch between complex setups which we already saw before. For example, in a chorus you want to play a pad and in a, in a verse you want to play a piano. So starting out, layering sounds. How can we do that in Bitwig? And here the instrument layer is your friend. Let's check that out. So here we have Bitwig with very simple setup. There is only an empty track. Let's say we want to have here a piano preset should even here. So we have here... A polygrid piano sound. Very nice. So let's wrap that into an instrument device. You can do that very quickly. If you do it like this, you can press Ctrl and G and you could also do that here by selecting group. So we have now already this instrument layer but still we are playing one sound. So we want to add now also a string sound. So let's go there again. Let's say we want to have something like a pad or whatever. There is something, no idea what that is. So let's hear how that sounds. You can also solo that. So nice pad. So let's add the piano to it. Let's make the piano softer. So you can also adjust here the, the volume between the two.
So we have now a very nice combination of these sounds. So this is the first thing we already could fix this layering. So next thing to look into is if you want to do that with velocity, we need the note filter device and the note filter device already fixes the next thing because you can also split them because velocity is also a split. Yeah, let's add some thumb one of these devices. Let's say now we don't want to layer them all through the keyboard. We want to have now here the piano at the bottom and let's say we want to have the pad at the top. So we can add now here the note filter. Uh, here it is. And as you see, you can either filter here by velocity or by key range. Let's just go for key range. Let's say we go down here. Uh, let's solo that so let's see let's go down let's say d3 and let's also put then a note filter here in the other one and what you can also do is uh, don't forget that you can do drag and drop all over the devices which speeds up the workflow a lot you can simply grab that go in here and put it here but keep now the control key pressed so it makes a copy which you see that a plus appears and we have now them both at the bottom but we want to have here the d3 um, there is a problem with that I cannot enter d3 here you can need to enter the note number so I don't know what that actually is is that uh, maybe something around here ah, not too bad but let's do it like this let's put that up again to G8 and this needs to be one note more so we have D sharp 3 let's check that out uh, solo so we have now in the top the the pad and at the bottom we have still the piano So that's how you can do the split. You can do the same here with velocity, but that's actually quite the same to do and I will not show that. So let's move on. What do we have? We have now splits and layers. Okay, you can combine that if you both knew use an instrument layer and note filter and you could also go on here with creating different ones and filter them in different ways or not at all if you want to have play them over the whole keyboard. Transpose is something to look into. So if you say now, uh, the pad is a bit too high, let's bring down the pad. We can use the note pitch shifter device. So again, let's go into Bitwig and let's say here is a pad. Let's add the note shifter, 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 pitch shifter. Here it is. And here you can transpose, that's a normal. Let's sit down. Let's say we want it like this, one octave down. Yeah, it works like this as well. So we solved also that problem. Let's go to the next one. So an external synth. This is actually pretty simple because we can simply insert a hardware instrument device, which I guess you are familiar with. So instead of having here like a sampler, you have simply the hardware instrument and can address your uh, external device and all the filtering and pitch shifting works exactly the same. We have now a complex layer set up here as as I said, you can have as many layers as you want, complex setup and want to switch that now. How do you do that? The instrument selector device basically works exactly the same as the instrument layer, but here all the layers are active, but with the selector device, only one layer is active and you can switch between them. So let's add one, a selector device, that's the FX. We want to have the instrument selector device. And as I said, you can always do drag and drop here in Bitwig as well. So you can simply move that in here and we have it now as one layer. So, so far it sounds absolutely the same, but now you can add more layers. So let's say this is our, uh, you can also rename that. Don't forget that you can rename pad and piano split piano bass to be more exact and here we want to have play a little solo so let's say we need a lead sound something here let's see what we have what is that ah okay so currently this layer is still active and with these buttons you can change that so now the lead is active that's a bit too loud so you can bring that down and you see also there is a little moon symbol here, which means it's sleeping. So you 
only take up CPU of the active layer, which is totally great because you can create as many layers with powerful plugins, for example, Diva or something, which can take lots of resources, but it's not an issue at all because only the active one takes up CPU resources. And another great feature is that also the sound is kept if you switch the layers. So for example, I play here the lead. Move up to the pad, you see it's still sounding. I can also start playing the pad. And release the lead at any time and this works without hanging note and totally beautifully. And this is a really, really powerful feature, which also not all of the workstations you can buy, hardware workstations, to support. So I think this is also a big plus if you lose, use that that way in a live situation. So let's move on. That's the instrument selector. And the question is now, how can you control that remotely? Because you do not want to touch the PC or might even have the, your computer backstage. So let's look in to that you can map the instrument selector as well so going here if you look here you see we have here a parameter and this parameter shows you the different layers you have so you can change with that parameter between the different layers for example you go now into the solo part of the song and you need to switch to your lead how do you do that you can map that even if you have already a map controller for example i have already here my my push running here beneath that and I'm moving here the, the knob on the push the first parameter knob also switches between that what you can also do is you could map something different for example I could map here a MIDI controller I could use here my foot expression pedal which is really nice and I use it all the time when I play with my band I always have two complex layers on a 76 key keyboard and you can simply press the expression pedal or put it down which I found much more trustworthy than using these uh, more like these guitar pedals where you have uh, eight buttons for example because the expression pedal is much easier to hit and you just you always see where the state is you go from up to down and switch between these two sounds so this as a little tip you could also use the generic flexi to do that and this is generic flexi you can also map program change buttons to a user button which you could then map and there is a pitfall with that because this parameter is scaled as you noticed i had to press the expression pedal full scale you can see that but i told you so you also see that here that it's a full scale uh, or it's at zero and it's here at 127 to go to two which means it scales uh, so this is in the area of zero to 63 and 64 till 127 select the second one if you use now a program change one it sends simply one so we have the second program change so zero would select the first and if you select the second one one it would not select the second one because it scales so it's this means you would need to create here in that list 127 layers which is not a problem because they do not take up any resources and you only need to do that once if you store that as a preset then this will also work fine okay some additional hints always remember bitwig devices are modular and you can combine this in any way and use drag and drop so you can put filters splits also other media effects in there and create the totally complex and weird setup also don't forget that you can add additional devices like effects like delay effects and if you do it like this i think it's easier to put the effects in there than into a send because then you can store this also as a preset or a full package combination and it's easier to manage than dealing then uh, with sense and you can also this combination which you need all the time so here the layer selector with the different uh, layers and uh, the note and pitch filters you can store that also as a preset and directly have that ready if you want to create a new layer as well i also created a gem setup because there was also a question in the forum how you could do that in bitwig and i will do a different tutorial about that so the idea is here that you have eight tracks for example and one is always piano one is strings or the things you always need and how you deal with that for quickly jamming uh, with your band i hope that was helpful and you learned something and if you play in a band and live on stage make some funky music